Hey folks, today I'm gonna do a quick review on this camping furniture that I bought. Now this is a relatively new line you can see there from Dometic. I believe they refer to it as the Dometic Go series and it's basically, I think more oriented toward car camping, overlanding, that sort of thing. And so I'm gonna give you my initial thoughts. I literally just unboxed all this and opened everything up for the, the first time. And so I'll put some of that B-roll footage up so you can see. They come in these nice little storage bags that you'll see, the chairs and the bench. The table, actually, I had to buy a separate storage bag for that, more on that later. But the bags fit the chairs and the table very nicely. And, you know, I didn't read any instructions. I just went for it. The chairs were really straightforward. Didn't have any issues unfolding those. The table, really straightforward too. I mean, I felt a little awkward maybe the first time knowing where to unfold and what to latch and everything, but really straightforward. And then the, the bench as well. I mean, it first time I've ever unfolded a bench like this, so it took me a second to figure out which way to unfold it. But again, really straightforward, no instructions needed. And so really I could get all of this unfolded. I would say probably in about two minutes, you know, if I'm being careful uh, not to, to damage anything. But uh, yeah, basically Dometic is, getting into this camping furniture space. And the reason I, I bought this stuff is if you caught my, my video from uh, a couple weeks back, I've got, you can see back here, a new project that I've been working on. And so this is my kind of my camping overlander trailer project. And I'll give some more updates on that in just a few weeks. But I wanted to get some camping chairs and furniture that would collapse and uh, get to a smaller size. You know, with my fifth wheel here, when we go camping, I carry around these zero gravity chairs that if you're an RVer, you're probably very familiar with. These are super comfortable, very popular among RVers. And the downside of these guys is they don't fold down very small. And so, you know, it's no problem. Here in my fifth wheel, I've got a really large storage compartment on the side so no problem fitting several of these zero gravity chairs in there but when it comes to fitting something in a smaller you know compact trailer it's just not going to work having zero gravity chairs you wouldn't be able to take along all the other things that you need and so i was really looking for something that would fold up more compact yet maybe be close to the comfort level that you get with these zero gravity chairs so you can see next to it there's a traditional folding camping chair i mean these have been around for seems like the longest time and they're probably one of the most popular styles of folding camping chairs out there. I've never been a huge fan of these guys though. I feel like when I'm sitting in it, it's almost like you're getting sucked into the, the middle, you know, and everything's kind of caving in the way that they're, uh, they're shaped there and contoured. And then most of them have a, a pretty, you know, upright back. And so I've never been a huge fan of these. I feel like after I get up, my back hurts and they're, they're not the most comfortable. But these do fold down very compact. And so I was hoping to find a chair that folds down to about the same size as one of these camping chairs, but offers a little more of the comfort that I have here in the, the zero gravity chair. And so that's part of the backstory of how I landed on this Dometic table and camping chair set. The other half has to do with my project trailer back here. I've been looking at a lot of different products that uh, I'm gonna outfit it with. And some of them, believe it or not, happen to be from Dometic. And like I said earlier, Dometic is kind of new to this, this space. They're no uh, slouch to the RV industry. I mean, they make things like toilets and awnings and air conditioners, and they have for many, many years. And so this space that they're into, we'll call it the car camping, the overlanding space, they make things like the camping furniture, you know, different uh, water jugs, storage containers and everything that have more appeal to that particular space. And y'all let me know what you think, but just based on the products that I've seen so far from Dometic, it seems like they're going after maybe a higher quality, more refined uh, product with what they're releasing in that particular space, which, you know, kind of surprises me because all the other products they make for RVs, not that they're not high quality, but to me, they're more, you know, kind of generic, kind of average. Whereas the stuff they're putting out in the, the camping go lineup seems to be tailored uh, toward the, the higher end, more refined stuff. But again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And so that's how I got introduced to the Dometic Go line of camping furniture. And you know, sometimes it's nice also not to have to deal with so many different vendors since I was already looking at some of their other items for my camping trailer project, you know, especially if you got warranty claims down the road, uh, which speaking of which, these have a three-year warranty. 
but I just figured might as well deal with fewer vendors and so that's ultimately why I chose to go with the Dometic Go camping lineup. All right, well, let me give you some close-up views of their products. And, you know, I just unboxed all this stuff, so I'm gonna be giving you my initial impressions. I haven't even sat in one of these chairs yet, although they do look quite comfortable. We'll find out here in just a minute. So let's start with the, the chair. So this is their folding chair. And by the way, all these items are sold individually. I just happened to purchase them all together like this. But let's take a look at their folding chair first. And so it's got this nice, material on the back a real nice shade of gray i think it looks really sharp there you can see the dometic logo and it is more in the recline position it's not adjustable but i mean that folding camp chair that i was showing you a minute ago was pretty much upright whereas this one's got a a nice slope to it so that is something to consider depending on how you want to use this chair i love how they've got the real wood though on here this just really makes it uh, look rich just a real nice aesthetic there and then I like how they kept this aluminum, just kind of the raw color. You'll notice on the hardware, I would imagine some of this, this looks like stainless steel. I'm not sure about everything, but it probably is some kind of marine grade or at least designed to hold up well in the elements. It looks like on the ends of the aluminum, they've capped everything with little plastic caps there to prevent moisture and, and rain from getting inside there. But it's a really neat design. You can see kind of down here on the, the bottom of the leg how it's got this little pocket for the leg to slide in and out as it uh, retracts and folds up. And it's just a really neat design. I don't know that I've ever seen a chair that unfolds and looks like this, but yet can fold up you know, into a, a bag about the same size as those traditional camping chairs. So it's got a really great look to it. I mean, I think aesthetically they nailed it between the, the gray and the, the natural wood tones. I mean, it just looks really nice, like a nice inviting place to, to sit. But let's check out the back of the chair. You notice from the side profile, it looks pretty traditional there with the bracing, but then this is really interesting on the back. It's got almost like an X pattern on the back, and this is just for structure. This is not, you know, for your back support or anything like that, which speaking of which, I'm noticing it's got this pocket here. That's kind of interesting. So I wonder if that's for partially some ventilation, but also to have something this feels just a little stretchy. I think it's just the material itself. But that's kind of interesting, maybe for ventilation and just to have some additional support on your back as it presses against there. But unlike the other folding camping chair that I showed you, this one, I don't think it's gonna feel like you're sinking toward the, the middle, like a funnel. I think this one's gonna feel more traditional because it's basically attached on the sides here, very similar to a zero gravity chair. And then up the, the sides there, the rails going all the way up. Now let's do an actual sit test, a comfort test. So I've never actually sat in this Dometic chair. Let's compare it to the regular traditional camping folding chair and then the zero gravity chair. So first up is the Dometic Go chair. Yeah, this is pretty comfortable. Big difference from the camping folding chair. I definitely don't feel like I'm sinking into the middle. I can tell I'm being supported on the sides here. The angle's very comfortable for sitting. I feel like this is somewhere where I could sit for a while and not get fatigued. I also don't feel like I'm just, you know, slouching into the chair. I feel like it's got the way the fabric is. I could be comfortable sitting in this. The arms feel great though. The wood here, really nice touch. So yeah, I think it's got a pretty, pretty comfortable chair here. Let me try the traditional camping chair now. Oh yeah. Oh, I can't stand these chairs. I mean, literally I sit down and I just feel miserable. <laughs> no, thank you. I mean, I guess it's better than no chair at all. And then we've got the zero gravity chair. Okay, so these are, oh yes, these are so comfortable. Definitely my favorite chair. I mean, if I had to choose between the Dometic Go chair and the zero gravity, yeah, I'd definitely take the zero gravity chair, especially since you can recline and you know change your, your angle there. But as far as the support goes, I gotta say, I'm gonna get up and hop in the Dometic again, but I think support wise, they feel very similar. Wow, you know what, actually, I think, I think I'm gonna say support wise, I don't know, there's something about the Dometic in the lower back that feels more supportive, at least to me, yeah, than the zero gravity. That's really interesting. I would think the zero gravity would be more supportive, but I don't know, something the way they contoured the material and the way it attaches, 
I just feel like I've got just a little bit more lumbar support here in the Dometic compared to the zero gravity chair. Yeah, I feel like my lumbar is completely missing until I recline. Once I start reclining, it kind of kicks in. But if I'm in just a more upright position, I definitely think, wow, they really nailed it. I mean, that feels very supportive for me. I am just over six feet and 200 pounds. And I mean, this feels very, very comfortable. It feels very sturdy. I'm not wiggling or anything like that as I move around. So yeah, this is a very, very comfortable chair for sure. Okay, so that really surprised me with the lumbar difference between the zero gravity chair and the Dometic Go. And I'm really curious because I've always thought these were very comfortable chairs. I think what's going on is when the zero gravity chair is more in the upright, it's not a 90 degree, it's you know a little bit angled here. But I think as you tilt it back, you can kind of see how the fabric stretches. It becomes more supportive here as you tilt back. And so over here on the Dometic, it's kind of interesting. If you look at it, I don't know if this will come through in the video, but notice the attach point for the base here and then where it's open here and then where it attaches up here. And what I'm seeing is that this is more forward on the Dometic chair compared to over here on the zero gravity chair where it attaches back here. So the Dometic chair kind of stops right here and then it starts sloping up to the back and I think that's what I'm feeling. I think it's basically, you know, kicking into my, my lumbar and giving it a little bit more support. That's really interesting because I would think that the more, you know, open this is and the less it's attached, the less support you'd have there in the back. But uh, their engineers must have done something right because I got to say, I'm really impressed. This, this chair was a lot more comfortable than I thought it would be. And I think what makes that so impressive is that this guy, remember, folds down to about the same size as one of these traditional camping chairs. In fact, let me just show you again how to do it. So it's real easy, you just pick it up, and just naturally squeeze it together. And you can see those legs, like I said, that pocket where it expands and slides up like that. And that's it. So then you just put it in the bag. So then let me do this camping chair here. We'll put them kind of side by side. So yeah, I mean, it's a little bit larger. You can probably see that in the video. The Dometic chair is just a little bit larger, but not that big of a difference. I mean, it's a little bit taller as well, but I mean, I would say it is almost the same size. You know, maybe this is 80% of the size of the, the Dometic. And I mean, this is way more comfortable. I would rather sit in one of these any day over the conventional camping chair. Okay, so those are my initial thoughts on the Dometic Go folding camping chairs. Let's hop over here to the, the table next. You can see, of course, they interface very nicely as far as the height of the chairs versus the height of the table. In fact, let me give you the dimensions real quick on the chairs, and then we'll hop over and do the same on the table. So when they're unfolded all the way across, you can see just over 24 inches there. And as far as space between the legs, you're looking at about 21 and a half inches between the, the legs there. And then the bottom portion, I'm going to say it's right about 16 inches to the, the seam, the middle point there. And then as far as how far it goes up, going off that same point, looks like a, about 22 inches high. So not quite as tall as the, the back on the zero gravity chairs, just for comparison. If I do that same measurement on here, they're about yeah, almost 32 inches to the top there. So yeah, definitely doesn't go up as far, but I still felt very supported in it. On the, the table over here, the height of the table is right at, looks like 27 and a, a quarter off the ground here. I've got pretty flat ground here. And just for comparison, the height of the chair is about 17 inches in the front. You know, 16 is pretty standard for a chair and that's probably what it is closer to the middle to the back there. Then as far as the, the width here on the, the table, it is 25 and a half inches. And then the length going all the way down is, looks like 39 and 3 eighths to be exact there. And so yeah, this table, it uh, pairs up very nicely with the, the set here. You know, easily this could be a four person setting and that's kind of what I, what I intended here. This is, of course, you know, bamboo wood, which is kind of trendy right now. I got to say the finish on this just is really nice. Really like the way they finished this off kind of with a matte satin finish and just left it all natural. I mean, the bamboo just looks really inviting and warm. Uh, so really like that aspect. 
Of course, it's got the aluminum legs, just like the chairs, the same color, the same tone of aluminum there. And this is kind of interesting because, you know, aluminum isn't as beefy and strong as steel. And so you have to be really careful when you're making something like this to make the aluminum thick enough so that it doesn't start feeling bendy and, uh, and flimsy. So I gotta say, just feeling how sturdy it feels here as I unfolded it from what I remember. It feels really good. I am noticing that the, the legs, they kind of are tapered outward. I don't know that that shows up in the video very well, but each leg is tapered outward. So instead of just being vertical, 90 degrees, you know, perpendicular to the ground, they're kind of tapered outward. If I go down, you can see it a little bit better. But I think that makes it a little bit more stable, almost like the, the landing jacks, you know, on my fifth wheel, how they're, they're kind of tapered outward at a slight angle, and it just makes it a little bit more stable. So that's kind of interesting how they did that. But yeah, I think they, they got the thickness right. I mean, I think it feels pretty, pretty sturdy there on the table. I will say, just for comparison, I've, I've never really had a, a similar bamboo folding table, but I did happen to buy a very similar table, smaller size, from another company called uh, King Camp for something that I'm going to do on the, the camping trailer back there, my project, where I needed a bamboo top. And so I just bought the table just to have really the top. And it was a, a folding table about half this size. But I will say when I was taking it apart, I was doing it just a couple days ago, I noticed that the legs and everything felt very flimsy. This was on the King Camp model that I took apart. I will say this one feels sturdier. It looks very similar, actually. I'm thinking about the, uh, the King Camp had a logo and kind of uh, stamped into the table, very similar to this one. And it had uh, kind of tapered corners like that. But the mechanism down here is definitely different. This feels a lot sturdier a lot thicker and more robust and you can see it's it's planted on the ground here and as i come up to it yeah there's a little bit of of wiggle here but i think that's an acceptable amount it doesn't feel like you know you put some heavy stuff on here and it's going to topple over no i think it's it's going to be pretty sturdy so yeah i'm going to say for my initial thoughts on the table it feels very high quality you know real refined and uh, it pairs really nicely with the with the chairs Let's hop over here to the, the bench, the last part. You know, I could have bought obviously four chairs, but I decided to mix it up a little bit and do the, the bench, you know, more for the kids, for the non-paying customers. And uh, this one folds up really compact. I was really impressed at how small it folds up. I'd say it's probably half the size of one of these chairs folded up, and yet you can fit two people. In fact, let me give you the dimensions just to start out. So this one lengthwise, we'll just measure the sitting surface here. So lengthwise, we've got 36 inches across and then kind of the width or the depth looks like about 14 and a, and a quarter there. So I'm going to sit on here in just a minute, but obviously you can easily get two kids, two adults on here. You might even be able to get three kids on here, depending on, on their ages and how big they are. But I mean, it lines up real nicely with the table there. You can see the sitting surface is almost the same as the the table so it pairs very nicely in fact let me just go ahead and sit on the bench so i can tell you what that feels like comfort wise so yeah this this actually feels firmer than i i thought it would and it's got a good height here with the table i mean most of the time when you're eating you're not you know reclining and leaning back anyway so the back support's not as important but i mean for kids this is perfect so if i were to imagine fitting another identical clone next to me here i got just enough room i think on this bench to fit two you know adults but yeah i think you could probably get three kids on here no problem at all you can see my knees are up just a little bit at an angle so this this does sit just a little bit lower i think than the, the chairs in fact let me double check over here on the chairs yes yeah, so i would say i'm sitting up just a little bit higher here on the chairs compared to on the, the bench, but again, it's for the non-paying customers, right? So this is pretty good. I mean, it feels real sturdy. I gotta say, there is hardly any wiggle or wobble at all. All right, so those are my initial impressions on the, the bench and really all the items together. I mean, they're exactly what I expected. In fact, the, the chairs are much more comfortable than I thought they would be. I mean, they really are comfortable. They nailed that in the table. I think is a little more sturdy than I expected it to be, you know, especially when you start trying to wiggle it. So they've definitely exceeded, you know, and met my expectations. 
Let me talk a little bit about some, some dislikes. I mean, I think as you own a product, you start to, to see things that maybe you didn't see initially. And so probably if, if you check back with me in a, you know, a couple months, then I might tell you, yeah, here's some things that would change. But off the bat, let me just share some dislikes. And really, I think the main one is going to be the, the price of all these items. Because if you're looking at these products, you're watching this video, you probably know that these chairs retail for $150 a piece, $150 a piece. Now, if you get a nice zero gravity chair, you know, like this one over here, it might be 100 to 150, depending on what brand and, and features and whatnot. But I thought that that seemed just a little bit on the, the steep side. I mean, if you look at this design of chair, especially if you go out to the, the rainforest, uh, I mean, Amazon, you'll find a lot of different vendors, kind of off brands that make, I think a very similar looking chair. And they're priced, you know, sometimes half as much uh, or even lower. But I will say, I think, I haven't tested any of those other chairs, but I think based on what I saw on that other table that I mentioned, the King Camp, it seems like Dometic took things up a little bit in terms of quality. I mean, the fabric just looks really nice. It even has a, kind of a, a light sheen to it. Uh, between the color and the wood, I mean, I think they took things up a little bit. And I wonder, I mean, maybe it's the exact same aluminum on some of those off brands, but I definitely know on the table that this feels a lot beefier and thicker than the, the King Camp brand that was uh, similar, just a little bit smaller. So, you know, I do think Dometic is trying to, again, make their products a little bit more high end, more refined. And so, you know, yeah, I think with the price that uh, comes in the territory, I will say the, uh, like I said, the chairs are 150, the table is $200, the bench is $100. They all come with cases, except for, like I said at the beginning of the video, except for the table here, the table did not come with a case. And again, this was priced at $199. I think that was a big miss. Dometic actually sells the case. In fact, it's over here. I'll pull it out so you can see what that looks like. They actually sell this case for, I think it was $40. And I will say the case is, it does have some padding to it to protect the, the wood. And so maybe that's why they had to sell it separately at a different uh, price there. But I think it would be really neat if they could have included the case with the, with the table. I think at that price point really would have sold me on it more to have that, uh, that case included, you know, at 200 bucks. But let me know what you guys think, if you agree, or if, if you think it is fair to, to charge extra. And I guess the other thing I'm thinking is if you're gonna spend that much on a table to begin with, then you don't wanna get it all scratched up and ugly looking on the top there. So, I mean, I think pretty much anyone who buys this table is gonna be buying the, the case. And so even if they don't change the price, I think they should just come together automatically. And then right off the bat, the only other dislike that I can think of is on the table again. And that has to do with the, the height. I didn't mention this before, but you can see on the leg there, it does have one adjustment position on the height. So it's in the max height right now. And again, that was just over 27 inches tall. And, and you know, it pairs very nicely with the chairs in the bench like I showed you. So this position here would drop the table down. This is about five inches. So we go from you know, just over 27 inches tall to about 22. It's almost more like a, a coffee table height, maybe for playing a board game or something at the campsite that might work or for kids. But the one thing I don't like about this is that that 27 inches is the max height for this table, which is fine if you're gonna be using it to eat off of, to dine off of. But a lot of times when I'm out camping, sometimes I like to have kind of a prep table as I'm cooking and I like something to be closer to, you know, counter height, maybe 32 to the 36 inches tall. And so that's something that you can't do with this particular table. And if you're wondering, well, why didn't they just put a third position? I think the problem is, is when you fold this table in half and collapse that leg, you know, there's only so much that that leg can come out before it would end up protruding past the, the folded table. And so then you have legs, you know, sticking out of the, the folded table. Well, those are my initial impressions on the Dometic Go camping furniture line. I mean, when you put everything together like this, it really does make a, a nice set to, to carry around. And I think what's so impressive about it is how compact, you know, everything folds up to uh, once it's in the bag. And I mean, pretty much any car you'd be able to fit this, where it's even a compact uh, sedan in the trunk. So that's what makes this furniture, I think, so appealing from a, a space uh, standpoint. 
but I certainly don't have any regrets buying it so far. You know, I think you get what you pay for in the end. Well, except for the, the bag that I think they should have included with the table. But other than that, I think it's a really great value in the end. If you have any questions that I forgot to answer in the video, definitely drop me a comment below. And I will put affiliate links to purchase these products in the description below. So I appreciate you using those to support the channel. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.